Ooh. It's amazing how different you can look with a wig. Only difference now is that like I left my hair curly underneath and I braided it. So now <laughs> my like head is almost too big for the wig due to the hair. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going to be talking about four, or I counted it this time, I counted this time. I've, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about four brands that I am really excited for and that I'm really rooting for for this upcoming year. I say upcoming year even though we're like halfway through the year, but these are just brands that I think are doing really well and I want to see them carry that momentum forward. Before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this. And if you want to see any more videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon down below so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Also, don't forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Instagram is where I post all of my cute photos and I post on Twitter near constantly, especially when I post every video. I know there have been some issues where people aren't getting all of their videos in their subscription feed. So if you follow me on Twitter, you'll definitely be notified as soon as I post a new video. Okay, so the first brand that I'm really excited for and rooting for is a brand that I'm wearing today on my lips, of course. It is Fenty Beauty. Fenty just dropped their summer line and it is beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's definitely on brand. And that's one thing with all of these brands is that they definitely have an aesthetic. They have their thing going on and they're not straying from it not to say that they're boring this this is saying that these are brands that have really found what they're good at and who they're catering towards and they're catering towards those people i personally cannot wait to try out one of her new highlighters it's the one it's called like mint mojito and the other the other one looks like a nice pearl i cannot wait to try that out i'm hopefully going to be picking it up this weekend fingers crossed i also i'm like begging her to come out with this lipstick in like every other color like i need this i need it but overall i think fenty you know of course fenty changed the game when it came to foundations and inclusivity and i'm just really excited to see where the brand is going to go from here because they knocked it out with their holiday line. They knocked it out with the summer collection. I think they have a very, very bright future. It is hot up here. I can't put the AC on while I'm filming because otherwise you'll hear it too loud. And the wig is big, but you know what? We must persevere. Oh, and I love this lipstick too because it just makes your teeth look so white. But my teeth definitely aren't that white. Like they're just nothing but like coffee stains. <laughs> Okay, so brand number two that I'm really excited about is Makeup Geek. So Makeup Geek used to be like the big YouTube brand. Think like, you know how Morphe is right now? Makeup Geek was the Morphe of like three years ago. When I first started watching YouTube, everyone was talking about MAC and about Makeup Geek. Now I know Makeup Geek has done a couple of collabs in the past. They do have a bunch of great products, but they've just recently started being carried in Target stores, which is huge. They were an online only e-commerce brand before this. So it's amazing that not only are they going to be available in store, but it's going to be as accessible as in a Target. I, for one, cannot wait to find this in my local Target. The minute I do, I'm going to swatch, play, try everything that I can in the store and I really want to pick up a few products. I want to try a bronzer, I want to try a highlighter, I want to try some of their eyeshadows because I've never tried this brand before but I've heard amazing things about them and I know they were kind of on a slump for the past year or so but you know what? They're picking themselves up, they're doing great things and I can't wait to see where they're gonna go. The next brand I'm really excited for is Physicians Formula. Physicians Formula has been knocking it out of the park this last year. They came out with a whole new healthy line. They have the healthy lip uh, lipsticks, which are fantastic. I have almost every single color of that collection. They came out with the healthy foundation. I do have a whole video on that foundation. I'll link it up in the cards above. They also came out with a whole new line of butter products. So they had the butter bronzer, which is their best seller. Of course, everyone knows about the butter bronzer. They came out with butter blushes, they came out with butter highlighters, and now they're coming out with a body butter, which of like, it surprised me at first, but of course they're coming out with a body butter. Like that was a genius next move. They've also come out with full face palettes. They've come out with little box bundles. They're just really doing well. And they're still keeping it affordable, which I appreciate. 
especially when you're seeing so many higher end brands coming out with bundles and they're expensive. One of their bundles or face palettes you can find at Walmart, you can find them at Walgreens, you can find them at Rite Aid. I just really appreciate that they're doing all these new things and trying out stuff but still staying true to their brand. I personally cannot wait to try out that body butter like I, I need it yesterday. I do. <laughs> I also really want their face palette. I haven't been able to find it anywhere. I didn't want to order it online because I wasn't sure like how shipping was going to be and if it was going to break or not, but I really want to find their face palettes in store. The last brand that I'll be talking about today is Wet n Wild. I was a bit disappointed in Wet n Wild's second to last collection reveal, which was the Gothographic collection. The majority of those products for me were duds, didn't really appreciate the quality. The only thing that I really liked were the highlighters. They just came out with a new collection called the Flights of Fancy collection, which is focusing more on spring colors and blushes. I've heard their blushes are knocking it out of the park and that they are fantastic. I cannot wait to get my hands on those. But between their good blushes and between all of their great eyeshadow palettes that they've reformulated and come out with, I have the majority of those eyeshadow palettes and they are phenomenal. And they're incredibly affordable under ten dollars for a full 10 pan palette like i don't really think there's any other brand on the market that is giving you the quality of wet and wild at their price point i hope i really hope they don't fall into the color pop trap of the releasing too many things too fast i think they're doing good with like a release a season right now i really want to see what they're going to come out with this upcoming winter i would love to see some more like dark smoky eyeshadow palettes i would love to see more of their lips i do love their mega last liquid cat suits Unfortunately, the ones from the last collection were a bit of a dud. They're more of lip toppers and not liquid lipsticks. For me, I would like to see a full opacity, long wearing matte liquid lip. So those are four brands that I'm really excited and rooting for. Let me know down below what you think of these brands. And if you really like a brand and you're looking forward to a brand coming out with something new, let me know down below. I like to hear from you guys as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave. And I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.